Hi, this is Patrick with Rouse Garage. This is a quick how-to on how to adjust your valves on a 50cc scooter with a GY6 or 139 QMB engine. This particular scooter has two ground wires, so make sure you don't forget about those when you reinstall it. All right, we've got all the bolts off. Just simply pull your cover off. Okay, so what off. we want to do is we want to make sure that both valves have the proper clearance. So on the top here, we have our intake valve, and on the bottom, we have our exhaust. So what we need to do is take a 9 millimeter, and you're going to loosen this nut right here, which I've already done, but just loosen it until it's loose. And this one, I can't move it at all, so that clearance is way too close. So we're going to relieve that. What we want to do is get it to 0 .004 or 0.1 millimeter. So um, here's a feeler gauge. Let's try to catch you in the light there. And what we're looking for is 0 .004. This is another one of those things that eight people will tell you different answers on. With all my experience, 0 .004 on both intake and exhaust is just fine and works great. So what we're going to do is we're going to get in here and adjust those clearances. So this is how we do that. I'm going to take a pliers, and they make tools for this, but again, you know, this is your garage. I want to make sure tools that you might have. After you loosen that nut, there's a bolt inside of it with a square head. So I'm just going to take that, and I'm going to turn it out until it's somewhat loose, and there I can feel it rocking back and forth. Hear it clicking, so now I know that I have a little bit of clearance. Now I'm going to take my .004 feeler gauge. I usually bend it just a little bit to get it in there. It's easier on the exhaust side anyway. And so I'm still too tight, so I'm going to turn that out until it drags just a little bit. And I don't want to go so hard where it hangs up. I'm going to turn it out until it, there it drags just a little bit. So I'm going to hold it. until I find that sweet spot where it just barely holds up. So I'm just going to leave it there so I'm going to need it in a second and while I'm holding my exact position I'm just going to simply tighten up that nut. And we're right where we need to be. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the exhaust side down here I've already loosened that nut and it seems like I have some clearance there so I'm going to just go ahead and slide my feeler gauge in there. This is harder for you to see and it's also hard for me to see. I've got my feeler gauge in there. Let me get it right where I need. Take my pliers, find that happy spot. Loosen that nut a little bit more. I didn't back it out enough, so take my pliers again. Okay, there we got a little bit of drag. I'll let that hang. I'm gonna try to hold my position. Start tightening up that nut. All right. Let's check our clearance. Okay, that looks good. 
All right, it's that simple to change your valves. Uh, if you would have gone to somebody to do that, it would cost you $40, $60, $70, $70, and that's easily somebody, anybody can do at home. Go to Harbor Freight or your local tool place, Lowe's or whatever, get a feeler gauge. It does not cost a lot. It'll save you a lot of money. And then you can fine-tune your own scooter as time goes on.